left off discussing conjunctive adverbs. Yesterday, you went through 10 of them, correct? Today, we're just going to do a couple more, but I need to review with you. Remember, a conjunctive adverb is a word when it comes right here, okay? You start off with an independent clause. Make sure you are writing this in your notes after the 10 sentences from yesterday. You start off with an independent clause, semicolon. That's key right there. And then you have a conjunctive adverb, and then you have a comma, and then you have another independent clause, okay? So you have two sentences, they relate to each other, and joining the two, showing that they're equally important in some way to each other, is a conjunctive adverb. Make sure you have the semicolon, and make sure you have the comma. Common mistake, uh, one of my students was asking me the other day, um, how do you tell the difference? I always get confused, I forget which one is the colon and which one is the semicolon. This is just a simple and easy way to remember if you can never remember which is which. Think of a semicircle, right? Semicircle means half the circle, semi means half. So this is a whole colon, a full colon, and look, there's only one dot there. So it's half of a colon, it's a semicolon. That's the full colon, that's the semicolon. That helps me remember it. Um, so, if it helps you, go for it. Use it. If not, throw it away. Here we go. Here are your two that we're going to discuss today. However, and nevertheless. Nevertheless. All one word, nevertheless. Smushed together. However, nevertheless. These two words show contrast between two independent clauses. The best word to sh kind of show the equivalency would be yet, probably. It means even still. Let me give you an example so that you can see it in action. Uh, okay. I didn't, I didn't, if you were copying this and you were my student, you better put an apostrophe between the N and the T, none of this text message language. I didn't study at, I didn't study at, all, semicolon. That's a complete thought, right? I didn't study at all. Nevertheless, nevertheless, comma, semicolon, nevertheless, comma, what happened? If this means contrast, hey, I didn't study, but you know what? Even still, I aced the test. I aced the test, period. I didn't study at all. Nevertheless, I aced the test. Even still, I, I still aced it. Okay, so this one shows kind of an opposite side. I didn't study at all. However, comma, I aced the test. So these two mean yet or even still. <coughs> In contrast is what they, um, I guess, equate to. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to draw, or sorry, you're going to write two sentences using the word however with this format, and you're going to write two sentences using the word nevertheless with this format. All four sentences must be correct for you to get credit. A couple things to remember. Do not capitalize however or nevertheless. They come in the middle of your sentence. Remember, this counts as one sentence. One, all right? One sentence. You don't capitalize mid-sentence. And that's your whole assignment. Good luck.